What's up, what's up everybody? Yeah, I gotta do my uh, crypto update because I know there are a lot of people texting me and they're like, ah, I know you're the crypto guy and you're, you know, I, you know, I followed you into this stuff and I'm scared, what should I do? And, you know, you're seeing the markets kind of wash out. I mean, honestly, at this point, if you haven't been following my thing, I've been showing everybody how I do it. And uh, basically, I'm always taking profits Whenever I get a rally, I either take profits into Bitcoin or I take profits into US dollar tether so that I have cash on the side or some other stable coin like uh, uh, multi-collateral DAI, um, some stable coin so that I can easily uh, buy if there's an opportunity like today and the past week and, and things like that where things have been just crashing. Um, and a lot of people are losing, their, their, their conviction has been shaken about cryptocurrencies. They think it's over, that the bubble is popping and that's it. Yeah, you know what, everything has a bubble in the way people invest because a lot of people get into it and they don't know what they're doing. They see everybody else is doing it and they really don't know anything about the asset. They just get in and then they're easily shaken out or scared out. That's what we call froth, right? That's froth in the market. Those are the people who don't really know what's going on and the media knows that they don't know what's going on and the government knows they don't know what's going on and the media and the government both know there are a lot of those frothy people in the markets. So, what kind of news came out recently? Well, Joe Biden announced he's gonna raise corporate tax from 21% to 28% and he's gonna raise capital gains taxes. And it just so happens we're near uh, tax season. So what do you think's gonna happen when a government introduces that kind of scary sounding stuff to the population? Well, the population is gonna take their profits, get out of the market, because they don't wanna be taxed. And so look what happens. You get the markets shaken, you get a lot of things crumbling, okay? All right, I don't know if you can see it, and I'm driving right now, but I got my Bitcoin shirt on right now. I'm rocking my Bitcoin gear, just to let people know, I'm a hodl till I die. I'm a hodl till it hurts, but it doesn't hurt, and not, actually, I'm not gonna hodl till I die. Uh, the reality of it is, this is a natural correction to me. This is a shakeout. Am I afraid of the government? No, I'm not afraid of the government. Worst they can do to me is put me in jail. What are they gonna do, execute me for trading cryptos if they make cryptos illegal? I mean, if they kill people over trading crypto, then they got another thing coming. That's gonna spark a war against them. And really, politicians don't want wars against them. They wanna foment wars against all the little people. That's why they have cultural race wars. They have, uh, you know, LGBT versus Christian and straight people. I mean, they want all the people fighting against themselves so that they don't notice what the government is doing to everybody. You know, and the media does the same thing. They help the government by spreading such garbage news. I mean, I don't want to get into fake news stuff because the reality of it is everybody is so brainwashed that when I hear them talk about, oh, you got to wear a mask in places. I mean, they're not really using their brains. God gave you a brain, God gave you an immune system. Use both of them. And if you're not using both of them, then, you know, all right, just follow follow the mass, follow the sheep. Follow what your, your shepherds, your sheep herders are telling you to do. By the way, I have my GPS on, um, so you might hear it in the background while I'm talking. So anyway, this is the way I see it. All right, I had a nice, stash of cash quote cash sitting on the sidelines for a day like this when it crashes now if you truly are someone who subscribes to my channel and follows what I what I do not by my recommendation I never give recommendations and I don't tell anybody to follow me I don't tell anybody to do uh, you know in terms of investing I do tell you to follow my channel because I want you to pay attention to the information and content that I have but I never tell you how to invest because the reality of it is no one should tell you what to do with your money. Only you know best. And many of you are shaking your heads right now. Yep, yep, yep. But then 
you're the type of person who when the government tells you you can't invest in something or they tell you to put your money in this you right away go and do it how can you do that how can you say no one should tell me what to do but then go do what someone tells you to do really makes absolutely no sense to me now there are times when you need to listen because you absolutely know nothing about a market and you don't want to be that person that gets into a market just because everybody else crowded into that you create a crowded trade instead of an investment and uh, and then when the nearest FUD or fear uncertainty and doubt comes along you're easily shaken out of the market you really create headaches for people like me who believe in the investment whether it's technology or commodities or precious metals which are commodities but they're money also in my view even though the government has really taken them out of the monetary role uh, they're still money because the government wanted to be able to manipulate money or what people consider to be money money so that they could easily take from everybody you know I want to get into taxes real quick because this is a part that bugs me they give you a stimulus right you people agree with what the government's doing all right you got a stimulus check they inflate the currency that stimulus check they gave to you they're gonna tax because that's income that inflation raises your tax bracket because it now takes more money for you to buy the same things that you used to buy when there was no inflation so guess what you may be making uh, 15 an hour but they're gonna or they're gonna raise your your wage no matter what because of inflation people are gonna demand it they're like you know what costs are rising I need more money to pay my bills, so I need a raise so this is a minimum wage issue right and then when you raise the minimum wage what do co corporations do they don't want to pay the cost of increased uh, uh, employment costs right they they pass that on to consumers right they just raise the price of everything you buy so when you raise the minimum wage you're raising more inflation it's really a game that you, we shouldn't be playing by asking the government to give us money and to offset inflation reality of it is the government needs to get its business big big nose big brother big mouth big hands out of everything they interfere in free markets markets are not free and by their interference they make the markets crash they make the markets go sky high and then what do they do they go on the go to the media people and they tell the media people tell the people that we need to regulate this market because it's not operating right it's not operating right because you're interfering in it get your hands out of it stop taxing markets stop regulating markets stop regulating corporations now albeit I'm gonna agree that a little bit of regulation prevents too much fraud from unsavory characters who might be on our level investing but regulation makes it easier for big-time corporations crony co corporations cronies of the government and the government to manipulate those markets or those industries we really don't want that it makes a mess when they get in centralization just flat out doesn't work for the very reason why I told you that we all should believe basically I'm not gonna tell you what to believe but I mean it should make sense that no one should really tell you how to spend your money or what to do with your life because it's your life no one really should be in your business giving you advice on that stuff unless you ask for it right government likes to get in there and tell everybody what to do and really they don't know because government is a big entity they oversee a big area they centralize your decision making in some faraway place and they don't even know what your needs are or your wants are so how can they make the best decision for you they can't this is why communism centralized planning and central authority does not work it can't work there's no way even with technology that they can see your needs they can see what you're doing with technology and they can track you with contact tracing or social credit systems like the communist Chinese are doing and we're doing now unfortunately because people don't think for themselves anymore they look at the government what do I do master they don't want slavery they go and they riot but then what do they do they go to the government and ask for help 
They go to the politicians who fan the flames because those politicians make money off of your anger and your fear and your greed. And they go to those people and they go, hey, help us. So you get those people going out and fanning the flames of these riots instead of the people thinking about what is really causing the problem here. You're relying on other people for your welfare and you're blaming other people for your failures. You can't do that. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't ask someone to give you something because you're not willing to work and then try to blame someone else for why it's not working. You made that choice. Ultimately, it all comes down to you. You can try to get rid of the responsibility, but no matter what choice you make, even if it, that choice is to not make choices, to have somebody else choose for you, you're still responsible for it. So, that's my spiel on taxes. Reality of this crypto stuff is, cryptocurrency is not any more a terrorist or criminal device than the US dollar. The US dollar actually has more terrorism and, and criminality uh, attached to it than cryptocurrencies. Because cryptocurrencies are traceable on a blockchain. A blockchain is a ledger that is distributed to everybody, unless it's a, it's a centralized coin that was created by a company or a founder. Something like Bitcoin is not. The founder is unknown. We don't know who controls it. It has a white paper. It tells what it's been done. And, and it, it stays that way, right? And everybody has a record of what transactions have been going on. So there can't be any terrorist activity because you know exactly who the terrorists are because it's coming from your account, going to this account, going to this place, funding this. You can track it on the blockchain. So that excuse is garbage. That's FUD. Governments are foolish. If they want to control cryptocurrencies to the point where people don't use them, they're foolish. They want to tax them to the point where people don't use them or use any other asset for that matter because they're taxing everything. They're foolish. They're losing revenue because government does not produce anything in the economy. It's a political machine. It makes you happy based upon what you want. Like you want this law. You want this person to suffer. You want this person to be regulated. That's what government does. It doesn't produce anything of real consequence where, you know, you, you actually make food for somebody or you make uh, medical devices or you make energy. No, no, government doesn't make things. They can take your tax dollars and subsidize or support those things, support companies or people, individuals that actually make those things, but the government itself does not make those things. And if they nationalize those companies, like a communist country does, where it becomes a command economy, where they take control of companies, then you get failure. Look at the air, airports. You know, look at the auto industry. Obama administration went in there and bought out those things when uh, we were having the crash during his administration. He went and he bought out solar, right? Subsidizes solar. A lot of solar companies went bankrupt. And if you're the right type of solar company, you can come in upon the bankruptcy and failure of those other companies, buy out the technology that those companies produce, and you can make a hefty profit because it really costs you very little. You bought everything on sale, kind of the way what's going on in crypto. I believe crypto, I personally believe crypto is money of the future. I also, from a religious standpoint, believe that it is the mark of the beast eventually. They will shut you off because they contact trace everyone. They social credit everybody. They, they At some point, they're going to be like, you're not doing what I want. I'm going to shut you off from this society. And they'll just shut off your crypto accounts. So right now, we have a great opportunity to, to buy in cheap, ride it up, which I believe is going to have a very big retracement back to the top eventually, and then get out. Get out of crypto. I like Bitcoin, but I think governments just can't resist interfering in things. That doesn't mean you shouldn't invest in them now or speculate in them now, but you should have some crypto holdings. I'm not recommending that. I'm just saying for me, I'm talking to myself basically out loud. You should have some crypto holdings just because it has performed better than anything else until this last couple weeks. 
I mean, nothing goes up forever. Everyone used to say that about real estate. Real estate goes up forever. And what happened in 2007, 2008? 2008, you had the huge crash. And it continued on for a couple years after that. And then now we've got, again, the exact same GameStop, AMC type speculation with derivatives and the government interfering and buying assets that they shouldn't be buying because they're trying to make markets look artificially healthy so that the economy looks artificially good for the administration who's in charge right now. And what they've done is they've created froth because they're buying for artificial reasons to try to support a market that really should have crashed a long time ago. In a healthy economy, markets that are frothy crash. Right now, crypto markets are frothy. So guess who's buying? I'll bet you anything, government's buying cheap. Government always does that. They scare you out of it, they buy it cheap. The mega, mega billionaires that support the politicians, and that's not just Trump. You guys talk about Trump, but you know, you, you ignore the uh, the billionaires that support that supported Obama, that support Joe Biden, Democrats have billionaires galore supporting them. Evil billionaires doing things that you think are in your benefit because they tell you it's in your benefit because you're a sheep and following them. But the reality is if you really look, drill down and understand what their policies and their accomplishments have done, they've made it harder for the races, especially when you take guns away from people. Guns are a natural human right. You take guns away from people, they can't defend themselves. It's a human right to defend yourself, to maintain your life, your liberty, and your property. They're taking that ability away from you. And guess what? People will still own guns, but who are those people? The rich white people. You're against white people being the, the superior race, but who has the money right now? Is it the poor, the poor black and Latino and Vietnamese and Filipino folk? Nah. They can't afford the, the stamp tax that you pay to the government, the tax that prevents you from participating in that market. They call it illegal only if you don't pay them to be able to use it. They make it sound like they're taking guns and not away from everybody. But if you look, government organizations have been buying record amounts of ammunition off of the shelves. They've created an ammunition shortage currently for people. So really people, I'm making this stress, not just about the crypto markets, not just about these political ideals, but I really want to knock people's heads. We're in uncharted territories here. Uncharted territory in terms of the whole world being locked down by a centralized authority. Everybody is for globalism and everybody loves China. If globalism is a united one world and if China is communist and they control their country, and you have China control the one world, you got a global communist society. It's all controlled, centralized in one place, and you take what you get. And what you get ain't gonna be what you want. It's gonna be what they believe is best for you, because they're the elitist correct ones. So with that, yeah, there's a tax on Bitcoin. In 10 miles, exit left to merge onto I-7, 10 north toward Pasadena. Pasadena So yeah, all right, there's a crash in Bitcoin. There's a crash in a lot of cryptocurrencies oddly enough my altcoin my I have an account that has a lot of altcoins that thing has been rallying as Bitcoin and everything Mainstream has been crashing. So really I haven't lost anything And in my accounts where I did lose because I hold mainstream cryptocurrencies again I had stable coins there where I was taking profits and I had US dollar tether and die. And I have now used those to, to atomic swap back into many of those assets that I believe now are great bargain prices. I've also started trading more options as a hedge. So, uh, excuse me, futures as a hedge. So now I'm doing the future co contracts, which I'm loving it. I used to do that stuff with the commodity as a commodity specialist. So I'm getting back into the old days. So far, I've done a nice job of multiplying some of my Bitcoin, just trading as I work at night. I do up and down trades, swing trading. So, am I asking you guys to do that? No, am I recommending you do that? No, absolutely not, especially not with futures and options. If 
you don't know leverage and you don't know markets, really just, just stick to cash if you want to invest in something. I don't recommend you invest in anything until you learn it. And that is a recommendation. If you're going to get into something, you might as well learn it. Don't go in there with the false hope and the gambler mentality that you're just going to make money if you throw it in when everybody else is. You really got to know your market. Sometimes you get lucky and you make good money. But the reality of it is you can't just blindly follow people, especially like me. I just give you hints at what to look at. You got to go in and learn for yourself. I try to give you those key nuggets that make you want to learn and educate yourself. And when you educate yourself, then you can participate as a professional. Even if you're not in the profession, you're doing it for yourself. You can make gains like a professional. And with that, the lights are going out. I'm driving. I don't want to get distracted too much by this. I still need to go get where I need to go. And I got to follow my GPS. So I just love you guys. I want to make sure you guys understand. You don't realize a loss unless you sell. You don't realize a tax liability, a capital gain, or a capital loss unless you sell. So if you can afford to do it, if it doesn't break your bank, in other words, you can pay your bills still without worrying about your assets, just forget your crypto. Just sit it, let it sit there until you read in the news or hear from somebody that, man, those crypto markets are on fire. Then you go back and check it, you know, because they're bound to go up again. They're bound to recover because it's not a useless technology. It's an innovative new way to do money. And honestly, our monetary system is obsolete. It's, it's an old way of doing things. So it needs to be upgraded. All right, with that, the darkness is setting in. It's lights out. I'm gonna end this video. I love you guys. If you, it's your first time, hit subscribe. If you like this, hit that like button. Uh, make sure you hit that bell notification and set the selection to all so that you get all the uh, videos that I may post in the future. I don't do it regularly because I just don't have the time. It's a crazy world and I'm trying to secure my family and my life. Uh, I just put these videos out to try to help you guys if you're trying to do the same. Um, so make sure you hit that bell notification because I regularly post and at least you'll get a notification um, amongst your other channels that you subscribe to of when I post a video. And most importantly, if you like my videos, share this information with people you believe can benefit from the information that I and content that I provide to you. And if you want to support me in some way down in the description below, I have links to affiliates that I support. If you see something that you like, you don't have to buy it, but if you need it, buy it, and I get a little cut from it. And I have links to my crypto uh, wallets where if you want to donate crypto to me, I absolutely appreciate all and any donations I get and might get in the future. And I also appreciate your support in following me right now. If you listen all the way through, I tend to have the gift of gab and I talk a lot, but hopefully you benefit from it. Hopefully it enriches your life and your soul and your spirit and everyone else, uh, everyone else's life and spirit that you share this with. And I appreciate your continued support. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. God be with you and I love you. Peace. I'm out.